Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got some more summoning for you guys. That's right. Today we're going to be diving into the Mystic Summons for C Phantom Politis. And luckily for us actually on Raid Up, uh, we got Assassin's Creed Jr., which is okay. I definitely don't want to get... Um, spooked out by him, right? Like, you know, you see the purple and there's Assassin Cartouche, that'd be really sad. But we do have uh, Assyria here, which is fantastic because it's imprints for Briar Witch, which is never bad. And we have Elbrus Ritual Sword as well. So if we don't get Sea Phantom Politis really quickly, hopefully we rack up a few copies of those because I wasn't able to buy it from the powder shop previously. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's dive into it here. I think I already did my daily summon for the day, but we do have enough for pity. I'm just hoping we don't have to go that far. It would be fantastic if we, uh, you know, just got her relatively quickly. So we can go ahead and showcase her to you guys. Do a little skipperoo here. We got the force. Oh, wait! <laughs> What was that? Wait a minute. We... We got faked out. I didn't expect... Uh, oh, shoot, guys. Well, I mean... No, but a switchable sword's for me, huh? Um, this is great. Sea Phantom Politis, there you go. I can't believe it. The only thing that'll make this better is if we pulled an Elbrus too, but I don't think that's gonna happen here. Yeah, wow. Insane. Elves Fist, a Rosa Hargana 2. Oh my god, another artifact! Hey guys, I can't complain. The Force Artifacts are good powder as well. And that's it, guys. That's... Oh boy! What was that? That was probably the, um, the third summon? That was the third summon, right? Because we're 7 at pity again. Alright, you know, that's more Mystic saved for future ML Senya. Guess it's time for a little showcase of Sea Phantom Politis. Alright guys, so we're gonna jump right into the showcase here with our Sea Phantom Politis. Uh, here's my build on her. Uh, I currently just took uh, some pieces from other units, some of my faster units, Knockwall, Flitica, and, and the such. So I made her a 304 speed. Um, now realistically, is this like what everyone's gonna be having? Probably not. Uh, most people are going around, I think like 290 something is the most popular kind of speed range I kind of see, which is kind of fitting because it's kind of pieces that are hovering around maybe about 20 speed, maybe a little less than 20 speed can achieve 290. Uh, I do have a little bit of effectiveness on her. Now I could mod out some of the um, some of the pieces here to better suit uh, Politis, but I really didn't want to. I think I might put most of these pieces back on the other units. And we'll try to craft some uh, better pieces for her. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be really hard chasing speed. I currently uh, have her on Unseen Observer for testing uh, this purpose here for a Comet Readiness gain for herself. She doesn't get an extra turn like C. Lilius does. So getting that extra Comet Readiness helps her turn cycle. And she also gets 10 souls for the team, which is kind of nice. Uh, you get to soul burn your DPS units, right? So this is a team I'm bringing in here. We have Genoa, Zahak, and Fumir. Bring in Genoa because obviously that's the Maxima. most hype combination that everyone is talking about right now, right? Use ML Politis and Genoa to together and it's absolutely insane um, but yeah let's go ahead and see what we got here her s3 basically enrages all of your allies for two turns making Genoa like able to one shot things from turn one uh, you also dispel two buffs from all enemies you also decrease speed for two turns and you decrease combat readiness by 20% and of course get to just soul burn and uh, you know get some of that uh, sweet sweet ignore resistance right so we're gonna go ahead and do it this is why you don't need a ton of effectiveness on her because you can just get away with stuff like this uh, I am gonna go ahead and boost up the Genoa so he has the attack buff to start off with and Karina's pretty far back now I am gonna just go for the I think we go for the Aiden here I don't really care if Karina cuts honestly so we'll just go for the Aiden, gonna try to finish her off here, and Karina will try to cut. She has a speed down, so look, even though she gained 50% combat readiness, look at that. She is nowhere close to being where we are. Fumir doesn't have three of her stacks yet, so I think what I'll do is just go for an S1. I'm gonna attack the Euphine, and look at this. Look at that, she's gonna counter, and she got hit, and she gained measly amounts of fighting spirit. I honestly didn't need to attack the Euphine there, but I really wanted to showcase what, uh... 
what the uh, the debuffs are capable of, right? Well, well Politis is passive, not necessarily the debuffs. Um, it, it is pretty insane. So for this, I think uh, we're just going to go for the S1 Soul Burn. I think we'll get a greater attack buff here. Let's go for the Abyssal Euphine, why not? Alright, she is going to counter once more. Okay, uh, I don't think she procced my immortality, which is kind of nice. We do get enraged here again, so that's pretty cool, I guess. He does get to cleanse his attack down, which is nice. So then we can just absolutely obliterate her. Uh, and then now, here's the thing. Politis actually, when she's enraged, uh, she gets a dual attack from the ally with the highest attack. The passive I was talking about earlier was this, by the way. Uh, when they say amount of resources, that's focus and fighting spirit, uh, you reduce the gain by 50%, which is huge, right? Abyssal Yuffie and Emma Landy take twice as long, twice as many counters, twice as many hits, uh, to get that full fighting spirit for their for their ultimates, right, for their S3s. And you also get this uh, stealth at the beginning of the match and at the end of each turn, which is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and just finish off this uh, last right of Kral. He's gonna be dual tank with the Genua there. He does have the highest attack. And Karina's gonna go into the Fumir. Honestly, it's fine if Fumir goes down. It's a little sad if she does go down here. Oh, actually, no, she doesn't. It's all good. Genua is now proc with his immortality, so we're fine. Uh, yeah, Fumir does have a bit of resistance, I built her with that, uh, to, to make sure she does withstand some of these types of hits. Uh, Genoa, let's just go ahead and kill the last Rider Crow. Right, this will get the Wind Rider buff, and we have greater attack buff, and we have the Rage buff. Oh, <laughs> It's disgusting, isn't it? But... Is this practical in RTA, right? I, I know the Fumir Zahak, they're just kind of throw-ins here. Is it practical to bring Genua with the Emopolitis? Kind of hard to tell, because you can really easily break up that combo by banning the Emopolitis. Alright guys, so we're going to be jumping into this match over here. My opponent has a pretty solid standard team, probably something you would find uh, commonly in RTA. Emma Landy and Bel uh, Bellion are picked pretty often together, it's like anti-cleave, anti-aggro type um, units, but... Yeah, we currently have a pretty standard team of our own. We have ML Politis here leading the charge. Uh, LRK is mostly here to just soak up some damage for the team and just ramp up his S3 a lot from all the AoEs on the other side. Uh, and we don't need a cleanser. Here's the reason why. Look at this Lulika right there, right? We don't care. Because Politis' resource reduction on her... I, I guess I shouldn't call it resource reduction. She reduces resource gain by 50%. And look, look at this. Ocean Breeze Lulika, after using her S3, after I use the non-attack skill, has two and a half focus bars. It's insane. She's never going to get her S3 up under normal circumstances. Now, here's the other cool thing, right? Uh, the opponent has a... Uh, has ML Landy here. I am gonna. Oh shoot! It, it, it didn't. Uh, we didn't proc it. Now you do need a Soul Burn to get Mort to have a hundred percent chance of defense break. But when he has the Rage Buff, he actually gets. Um, when he has this Rage Buff here, he actually ignores Res. So if his uh, passive did, or sorry, if his S1 actually would have landed the defense break there, would have been guaranteed, right? Now I wanted to get it before everyone got immunity, so unfortunately uh, we can we can't really do anything about it. The good thing is Politis does on S1 strip a buff, so that is pretty good. Our Bologna also has a full um, fighting spirit here, so let's just go for the Landy. If we can kill it before the best. Oh, very nice, because now look, everyone has Rage and Vigor buff. So if you paired, like, C. Lilius with Emma Politis, I can definitely see that being pretty toxic. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, doing a lot of damage. Uh, more, everyone here kind of already has immunity. I'm just going to use Mort's S3. This will actually replenish his Rage buff here. This will also apply some uh, injury to the opponents, so it's pretty good. All right, there we go, got some injury there. They're gonna counterattack, it's all fine. Politis is pretty safe here, because you can usually build her pretty bulky. All she needs is some uh, bulk, uh, speed, and a little bit of effectiveness. So I think what I'll do, does LRK have his S3? He does have his S3, so might as well just go for the uh, LRK here. He's gonna S3, and because Bologna has the highest attack on my team, she's been dual attacking this whole time, gaining fighting spirit along the way. So you can see we're getting quite a bit of value from this combo. It's quite nuts. 
Uh, and look at this, Ocean Breeze the Luka again. When she S1s, she's supposed to gain one focus. But with Emma Politis here, she gains half a focus. It's insane. Uh, <laughs> should a floodgate effect like this be allowed? I, I don't know, that's up for debate. But uh, ML Politis definitely is going to have a huge impact on the meta. And I don't even think Genoa is going to be the, the biggest concern for, for most people. I can't really showcase it here because I don't have her built. I don't have the gear for her. But Lua, if you pair Lua with Politis, it is absolutely insane, right? Uh, the speed buff from Lua and the rage buff from Politis stack, giving your team immense amounts of speed. Not only do you reset your opponents, but you also push them back in combat readiness and decrease their speed. They're absolutely screwed. Okay, so we're gonna give Mort another chance here. There's no LRK on the other side, which means no immunity buff, which means he will get a chance to defense break the opponents. Speaking of defense break, I'm bringing in a Tywin, because he's also one of the few units in the game that benefits from a rage buff. If he has it, he will ignore the resist of the opponents uh, whenever you go to use uh, any of your skills, S1, S3. So you can defense break, you can stun, you can provoke, and uh, he's a really strong control unit when he has rage. So you get rage for two turns here, and it's absolutely insane and look at this you again do not care about that luluka at all in fact what we can do right now is just rip his s3 we could have sold him in fact i think if you if you use uh, a tywin with the ml politis it's absolutely nuts now the landy obviously cannot be uh she oh he got immunity from nostalgic music box uh she cannot be stunned so that is quite normal to see her there uh unaffected but the defense breaks on everyone was pretty strong we'll go ahead and s3 trying to get some injury down on the opponent uh a tywin's gonna get defense both in here probably but he'll cleanse himself right It'll be fine, we'll get the rage buff uh, on us again, see? Now normally a Tywin gets rage for one turn, uh, here thankfully we, we get it for uh, two with the ML Politis. Alright, and we can see there, gaining Fighting Spirit on our Sunbreak Charlotte, the ML Politis is, uh, is pretty good with dual attacking there. We could go for uh, a Soulburn S1, but I think we'll just go for an S3. Let's try to finish off this Karina, she has defense broken, so if we can kill here it would be great. Uh, this is a bruisery uh, Sunbreak Charlotte, by the way, so look at this. Now we got the speed buff on everyone. So, range gives 20% speed, speed buff gives 30% speed. We're gonna be zooming, guys, absolutely zooming. More actually give himself a speed buff too, which is kind of nice. Uh, and it's one of the reasons how I know that this is gonna be insane. Uh, if you used Mort, and your Mort's on a speed set, like, even just decently speedy, uh, he will absolutely lap your opponents. He's a maniac, um, with the- with the rage and speed buff, right? So, we'll see if it- we'll see if it works here. Uh, we don't- again, we don't care about this ML Landy at all. In fact, if we didn't crit- if she was just countering, it wouldn't have done anything. Uh, it, it's just nuts, because she has to counter basically twice as much, with Emma Politis on the field, for her to ever S3 you. You can literally go into these matches without a care in the world, and it's... It's honestly... I don't know. It's like a double-edged sword, right? It's nice when you have control of her, but I can see it being really annoying to play against uh, if your opponent does. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do something that I'm gonna call the Charles Test, and uh, we're gonna go up against a pretty meta team here, right, Arwal, um, Aeola, we got Karina, we got ML Shu, bring in Charles because he's actually not an HP scaling knight, he's an attack scaling knight, we have uh, C. Lilius here as well for the Vigor buff, we have Calric for the cleansing against Aeola, attack buff immunity, all that good stuff, and we have ML Politis too. So what I want to test out here is just, is Charles able to just absolutely demolish this team. We'll see. Uh, he's gonna get rage, he's gonna get vigor, he's gonna get attack buff. This guy is gonna be so stacked with buffs and it's gonna be insane. Uh, Aeola can also not strip the rage buff or the vigor buff from your uh, units. So if you double up on C. Lilius and Emma Politis, it's gonna be quite insane. So let's go for the S3 here. Looks like the ML Shu is the fastest unit on their team, but that's fine. We're gonna make sure that this Aeola never takes a turn. So we'll go ahead and push everyone back. It's kind of nice, let's go ahead and debuff. So we get speed down and attack down if you run both these units together. I don't... Uh, <laughs> is this okay? I don't think this is okay. But let's go ahead and provoke the Aeola here. Uh, for the Calric, what do I want to do? 
think I'll go for, uh, let's just go for an S1 here. I'm just gonna push up the Charles. Uh, see, Lilia's gonna take the brunt of the hits from the shoe. It's fine. Arwell's gonna go for the hand guy. It's also fine. We didn't pop our S3 just so Kawa can cleanse. Right. And, uh, let's go just, let's just go for Aeola. So look at this. We're gonna S1. Uh, and, oh yeah, there you go, guys. No attack buff here on the Charles, otherwise we'd hit for much, much harder. But hey, nothing says we can't do it again. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> what's stopping you, right? And imagine if you're using a character even better than Charles, right? Uh, obviously, Genoa comes to mind, but that's boring, right? You can now have quite a bit of fun, actually. Um, see, units like this that are really strong universal enablers and uh, buffers and supporters, like ML Politis, can actually enable a lot of weaker units to function quite well uh, in situations that you might not expect them to otherwise. Now, uh, another thing to mention, I don't have ML Shu, so if I did have ML Shu, you can definitely use ML Politis with her. ML Shu's are built fast, and ML Shu uh, is very, very good because she has a speed for the whole team. That speed buff for the team is great because you can actually utilize the shoe and uh, stack the speed buff with the uh, rage buff here and you can do quite a bit of damage. So uh, shoe's gaining focus really slowly. I could just technically ignore her and we could just dual attack into this Karina. Oh, she's gonna counter. That's okay. We're fine. Uh, let us go for... Might as well just go for an S3. Let's just Soul Burn this to extend the duration for some reason. Hey, Spoggy, can we, like, buff Charles a little bit? You know, just saying. It'd be kind of cool. Um, alright, anyway, got some attack buffs on us. Pretty good. Defense buff on the Charles is gonna be sick, too. Rest in peace, C. Lilias, I kind of wanted to get another round of Vigor buffs up, but it's okay. Go ahead and hit here. Never mind, we're gonna get Counter, that's not good. Uh, and there is always going to be a turn of uh, downtime, so even though you have the minus one turn cooldown here, there is going to be a turn of downtime where you don't get to dual attack, which I think is uh, is kind of fair, right? It's kind of needed here. So, especially given that you can dispel boss with S1 anyway, it's pretty nuts. Alright, come on, Charles. Yeah, that's right. Show Karina who's boss, correct her posture there. Okay, uh, will we be okay? Hmm, hand guy might be the target of this ML shoe. It's gonna hurt because we are... Oh, actually, never mind, we're not fence broken anymore. But we do get dual attack, because that's always fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and just soul burn this. There's no reason not to, because, again, Charles doesn't really benefit too much from the uh, soul burn there. So let's get the rage buff going. There we go, and with Charles, let's just, let's try to kill the Karina here. S1, can we S2? Nope, we're gonna get countered. Alright, no S2. Okay, that kind of hurts. Let's do it again. Look at how fast Polit is just lapped there. It's insane. Right? Oh, there you go. That's right. That's the prop we're looking for. Okay, uh, let us go for an S2 here as well. Get that barrier going for us. Alright, never mind. No barrier. Ooh, Charles! Come on, Charles. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, we do have, uh, again, we still have a rage buff right there, so boom. Boom! <laughs> And it's pretty good. Now, uh, the other thing is, I haven't been switching my artifact on Politis here. I think if I used other things, I know people are just kind of experimenting. Some people are using, um, what, what is it called? Uh, Miscomfeel for the defense breaks on S1, so you can strip and defense break people. Uh, you can also use things like, um, was it glow wings to give a barrier to everyone on your team? So if she's a purely support unit, that's also kind of nice as well. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things that you can do with her. So uh, Unseen Reserver seems to be a decent option. It's probably not the best option out there. Uh, but yeah, Spectral Temporal Fan, Spatial Temporal Fan as well. Lua's Artifact is also something that people are experimenting with. But unfortunately, I don't have that. Alright, so we're gonna go into this match over here with uh, Hua Young instead of Charles. I think we had a good amount of fun with Charles, but I think Hua Young is also something that uh, we can do quite a bit with. Now, I'm gonna buy some flags here and let's hop in. Uh, the reason why is because she's gonna be the highest attack unit on your team most of the time, which means Politus will dual attack with her. And if you have on your Beerus's Tooth, that's gonna proc extra damage, gonna be really solid. The other thing is that the, um, the Rage buff actually stacks with Vigor buff, which means you can actually get a ton of attack for absolutely free. It's insane. Uh, so watch this. We're gonna push everyone back here. 
get that speed down. Obviously, the uh, Aeola is going to resist because it's definitely a resist Aeola here uh, and not a scam. Oh, actually, it might be a resist Aeola. Hang, hang on, hang on just a second. Can we push back? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on just a second. Let me let me push up the Hua Young here. Okay, never mind. We did we did not push up the Hua Young there. Uh, oof, that's gonna hurt. Now the good thing is these buffs cannot be dispelled, so we are just fine. Let's go ahead and just kick the Aeola's Ae face in. Uh, she seems to be built with a ton of resist, which I wasn't expecting, but it's all right. The belly in there also makes it so you can't soul burn, so there's no use bringing a unit that could potentially uh, give you souls holding book to ignore res. But yeah, let's look at this, just look at this. We're gonna go ahead and just kill off this Aeola, right? Uh, after we get countered by Bellion. Boom! Done! Uh, I do want to see Hua Young's damage though, so uh, let's go ahead and cleanse everything here. I really, really want to see Hua Young's damage against this, uh, the Semo Shu. Let's go ahead and attack her. Uh, look, we don't- we just ignore this Euphine, right? Look at how, ab like, abysmal her uh, her fighting spirit gain is basically nothing there. Bellion also seems to be injury, so we do gotta watch out for that. Oh wow, that is that is insane damage actually. Can we kill without even using an S3 here? Probably, right? Probably. Boom! Wow, we killed without an S3. So attack buff, rage buff, 20% more attack, 30% more attack with vigor, 50% attack here. Look, this Hua Young is absolutely insane. Let's just go ahead, ignore the Euphine, let's kill the Bellion, she's been really annoying here. How much damage are we gonna do? Oh, 30k damage, guys. I mean, can you really beat that? And look at this, Euphine's gonna be getting attacked, countering, and we still do not care. In fact, we're just gonna keep hitting her. Uh, she seems to be resisting us, which is a little unfortunate. Alright. Uh, Hua Young doesn't have any souls, but... Oh, look, see, she's... Look at that! She would have had her S3 by now, but she still doesn't have it. See, Lily is falling again, but mine is not built at all. She's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, let's go for this. The S2, push back the combat readiness, get that speed down. Euphine doesn't actually push up her own combat readiness like Emma Landy does, so we can just keep hitting her, and it is fine. We'll just keep lapping her, in fact. So there we go. Uh, let's go for a Soul Burn. We get, do get that attack buff at the start of our turn. There we go, and that's a dead Euphine right there, so pretty good. Now, Holy Sacrifice, it's fine, I I hope. Oh uh, yeah, no, it lo looks to be fine, look at this, Dispel the Barrier, oh, no, she's gonna resist that Dispel. Okay, maybe it's not fine, maybe we are screwed, hang on just a second here. Push up the Hua Young, nope, okay, wait, wait a minute, <laughs> that was close, that was really close, holy, um, alright. There you guys go. So, Rage buff, Attack buff, Hua Young. Absolutely insane. You can do a ton of combos with ML Politis. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what insane combos you were able to come up with, and have you used her yet in RTA? Has she already been uh, a menace, or is she on that pre-ban list forever? Anyway, with that being said though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.